Now, for the purpose of being comprehensive here, uh, although this is more something you would calculate for your design uh, side of things, I'll show you how I calculate overburden area. Now, oops, the manual makes the assumption that you have a flat ramp. So the overburden, or the resisting weight for the uplift force, is just looking at this area here. Taking a 60 degree from horizontal or 30 degrees off vertical, looking at this area on top of the anchor, helping to resist uplift force. Now, the reality, if you have a sloped ramp, is that you have an additional uplift or additional overburden area. And in order to calculate that, you can do just what I've done here. Whoops, sorry about that and you can draw a straight line from the top of the ramp wall, a 30 degree off vertical line from the anchor, and then add this additional area here to your overburden area for extra capacity. Now, like I said, this is more for the design side of things, um, but for the purpose of being comprehensive, this is the final measurement I'll make as far as ramp wall areas, overburden areas, and ramp fill areas go. And the final note is to remember that these are areas, so you'll need to um, multiply by their respective thicknesses in order to get volumes. So ramp wall areas be multiplied by its 30, in this case, 30 and 50 centimeter thicknesses. Uh, but remember how we just did one 30 centimeter thickness, and then we added our additional um, 20 centimeter thickness of wall to that total volume. Ramp fill is going to be the area between the ramp walls, so it's going to be multiplied by the total ramp width um, minus the 30 centimeter thickness of ramp walls on either side, etc., etc.